dun, 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 live! Monday Night Live, it's back in the house, back having it, having it again, back again, once more. Ooh, ooh. Hello, good evening, nice to see you, thank you very much for joining me. I'm Dean Vapenbike, thank you very much for hanging out with me for another Monday night. So, um, normal kind of things, got a bunch of stuff to talk about, a bunch of new products and all that sort of good stuff today. Um, also, obviously, as always, we're going to have Mr. Todd on. Mr. Todd will be floating around in the chat as well, just to make sure that you're all behaving yourselves. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that my uh, my sound is off on my phone, because otherwise some uh, some clever bugger will uh, will think it's funny as you like to give me a ring at the start now then what we're going to be doing is as always if this is your first time we'll start by me saying hello to people for the first 10 minutes so the people in chat let me know where you're from and so i know where uh, whereabouts you're watching us from um and i'll say hello to those guys so you just fast forward this if you're watching on replay fast forward 10 minutes and then we will get into the vlog there's a, a fair whack of stuff i think um again no notes you know <laughs> so uh, we'll just see how we go but we're going to cover kind of um what's uh what, we'll talk about that in a minute let's say hello to some people that are in chat shall we um there's a bunch of you in there already so i guess notifications worked for a bunch of people which is fantastic and uh, and let's get into it shall we so we've got l hey dean a vapor <laughs> Biker, thank you very much. Well, nice to see you. Deborah Connor, evening, Deborah. How are you doing? Um, uh, what else we got? Colette, good evening, Colette. Let me just move the chat over there so at least it looks a little bit more like I'm looking at you guys. Um, uh, what have, what have, oh, now then, did he write uh, getting on from Chroma? Um, we've got uh, Sebastian Jobin, greeting, greetings from Quebec. I've just woken up, so I'm. <laughs> Ah, this could be fun if I get some interesting names and things. <laughs> um, David Modrum, Daily Poos. All right, Daily Poos, how you doing? Andy Fairchild, evening, Dean Bristol calling. How's it going, Dean? From North Carolina, USA. Thank you very much indeed. Greets from Belgium. Uh, oh, Miguel Rice was from North Carolina. Uh, Joe177 uh, from Belgium. Tim Robson. Hi, Dean from Cumbria. Hope you're well. Not bad. Thank you very much indeed. Lois is in the house. Nice to see you, Lois. Thank you very much. Um, Vape Geek, hello everyone from Canada. Uh, ooh, very nice too. Uh, hello, sir. Good to see you. that Monday night is live. It is indeed, indeed, lassie. It is M16. Uh, skills, hi Dino. You're good, mate. You had your rose lowered. I a little bit. I a little bit. I was looking a little bit ropey before, so I'm going to try and keep on top of it. So I less, I look slightly less trampy. But we'll see how we get on with that one. Um, Steve Clark, hi from Steve and Helen in rugby. I love the fact that you guys watch this together. I think that's amazing. So a big shout to you guys. Um, hey, Dean from South Wales. Hi, Adam Mitchell, Craig Higginbotham. Uh, hi, uh, hi, made it from sunny Hull Beach. Is it, is it, is it sunny in Hull Beach? We've got some gorgeous clouds out there tonight. It looks, I tell you, right, that's it. I'm stopping this so I can go out and take photos. <laughs> Just realised how nice it looks outside. Um, hi, Dean from Sunny Hall Beach. Uh, hi from Dal Keith, says Daniel Thornton. Did I get that right? Alex McKenzie, all right, Dino? All right, C. Sampy. Hello, friend, from Bloomington, Indiana. Hello, C. Sampy. Uh, Hallmark, good evening, uh, Dean and the crew from deepest, darkest corner of Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire, um, Gloucestershire, Gloucestershire, why did I say that? Good evening from Eaglesham in Scotland, says Murray Robertson, Hallmark, by, by the way, was uh, from Gloucester. Uh, James Whiting from Reading, Oki, Oki, Oki Music Girl from SoCal. It's just, you know, SoCal, Southern California, isn't it? And it just, it just sounds cooler. Than just a bit, but you know, I'm from East Anglia, so if I go, all right, I'm vaping bike from EA. Eang, it doesn't really work. <laughs> um, East Anglia Potty, what? <laughs> I'm probably just deeply offended again. Um, <laughs> right now, where the hell was I? Hello, Dean from Michigan. Uh, it says Jesse Roy Glenister. All right, Roy, I hope you are, you're, you are over in Yarmouth still, aren't you, buddy? Um, nice to see you. Hello, biker. I'm vaping scaffolder from Halifax, West Yorkshire. Scaffolders. Stulum, 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 Scaffold. I tell you, you are a different breed. You're if you're if you're in the oil and gas game, for sure. Um, in the oil and gas, yes, yes. My experience with uh, with with Scaffold is you're just mental, which is brilliant in a good way. You know, a good mental, but mental nonetheless. Um, 
I'm just down the road near Cambridge, says uh, Phil Lee. We met at Expo. Fantastic. Um, Andy Franklin. Afternoon, beautiful people, people from Tenino, Washington. I, I've not done it. I've fluffed anything as yet. So we're going well so far. Zach Stone from South Florida, USA. See, I said it. I said it. Seeing, seeing O'Mahony from Ireland. Seeing, is it Kieran? Is it Kieran? Is it Kieran? That might be the case. Um, uh, Funkadelic fan from Essex. Uh, Graham Vincent is from Middle Earth this week. <laughs> uh, Lynn Smith. Uh, DJ LSB. Look out, look. Hello, hello, Daniel. Nice to see you in here, my friend. Um, Cameron Edgar, vaping a biker fellow from Portland, Oregon. Finally, notification got to me. <laughs> Uh, Sweden got a goal today. Not that I'm watching. All right, then. Are they, what are they doing? Goal in what? Volleyball? Is it volleyball? Um, <laughs> Legion Vapes is in. All right, Legion. How you doing? Um, uh, Johan was from Sweden, by the way. Uh, Legions uh, all the way from Australia. From Asheville, North Carolina is Heather Melton. Alex McKenzie Sinistral is in the house. Um, Andrew Wiltz is sent to Louis, Missouri. Uh, Ian Skills, evening from Bristol. Uh, what have we got? We've got another couple of minutes left before we have to get into things. Morning from the Philippines, says the grumpy old vapor. Mick Reason. Uh, Sunny Birmingham here, CL Spencer. I've said hello to you already. W. Brian Jackson from hello, hello, some India, hello from India. I'm going for that. It, that just Brian Jackson in themselves doesn't sound like American, but W. Brian Jack just having that that, that full name on there that, that's fantastic. I like that. I'm very impressed with that one. Um, that's yeah, super American. Um, David Payne, Evening Dean from Northern Ireland. Uh, Paul Hewitt, what's on? I don't know. Um, Ian Strudwick, Evening Dean from Felixstowe. I just up the road or down the road in Felixstowe over there. Uh, or church is in, just says Dean. Church. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nathan Brunswick, hello, Dean from Ohio, USA. Uh, even Dean here from Southern Sunny Coventry says Viv. Uh, greetings from Germany, Werner Pintgen. Pitkin, is that right? Um, Kevin Stallion, evening. Uh, what else have we got? Morning from Devon says Keith M. Uh, hello, Dean from Conway, Arkansas. Arkansas, is that the same as Arkansas? Is that the same thing? Is that the same place? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what else have we got? I think we've covered a fair few people. Hey, from Michigan, says the Vapix. Uh, Mick Blizzard uh, from Solly Hull. Uh, Hi, Dean, upstate New York. You're 4%, says Joanne Dan Dan Dambrosia. Um, hello, Joanne. Nice to see you. We've got a few 4%ers in tonight, which I'm I'm very grateful for. Thank you very much for all coming in. Uh, what else have we got? Hello from Portsmouth. I've lost my mouse, says Paul Hewitt. Holy fuck, that's hot. Um, Oh, <laughs> the nurse vapes is in from North Dakota. Uh, what else have we got? Hi, Dean from Macclesfield, says John Wilkie. Matt Woodward from Bournemouth. Will Willy Billy vapes. I lost you. Oh, you're in somewhere. Can't remember where you're from. Didn't see where you're from. The uh, the chat just went. Shoof. So uh, I lost a bunch of people. But I think I've covered a fair whack of you um but uh but if if i have missed you out i do apologize we're 10 minutes in now so i will try and say hello if you've got a question in the next section uh but as always what we're going to do tonight is we are going to go into the uh the kind of the, the the normal bit of the uh of the of the of the vlog and then in about half an hour's time, we'll go into the the open questions with Todd, and then you can just throw your questions at us, and uh, hopefully we will get around to you. If you do have any questions, in the meantime, through the vlog, put them at Vaping Biker, and then put your question in uppercase, in capital letters. That just helps me see it. If that can pertain to what I'm talking about around that time, that would be great. And then if it's something completely kind of off-piste, um, and, and about something completely different, we'll try and address those later on. So send those those kind of rando questions a little bit later on. All right. All right. Cool. Now then, 
Um, so first off, in America, have we still got that thing where you you've got to uh, um, contact about the flavour? Oh, Kimmy Vapes, Kimmy Vapes is in. Good evening, Kimmy. Um, have we still got the thing where you're contacting your your people? I think is I I think it is. I think it is. Now I've uh, I've talked about it before, but I've not shared any links. Please, please, please about the flavour band. Please, please, please make sure that if that's still going on, um, that uh, that um, you know you get on top of that one. Uh, it's going great guns as as far as i'm aware but it could be greater guns when you think about the millions of vapors there are so uh yes please do get onto that now that's that one sorted out if you need to find out more information about it go and check out one of grim's videos or any sort of the american guys uh videos and that will give you all of the information and links and all that sort of good shit as well so please do that because nobody don't, don't bitch and complain if you can't vape anymore because you couldn't be asked to do anything can't let other but you can't wait for other people to do shit for you. We're all grown ups, motherfucker. Make it happen. Right? Right. Cool. Now then, we've got some, uh, we've got, I'm going to tell you about some new stuff. I'm going to tell you about where I've been over the last, over the last week, because I've not really put much out. Um, and, uh, and we'll see, we'll see what's, what's, what's cracking on there, shall we? Um, so was my Inakin review, was that over the last week? I think that was the la over the last week. Now, I, I anticipated um, doing three reviews over the last week, and I managed to get one. And like I've said to you before, one of the things that's one of the main things that's taken up a lot of time, as well as kind of the illness and stuff, I'm not going to go into that tonight, um, is the is the bassium. There's been so much work going into the Bassium and all of the back office stuff to make sure that comes out that, um, that yeah, it's just it's taken up the, the a majority of the time. Now we're coming up to a point where I haven't got to worry about that, then jobs are good and things should resort back to normal. However, there isn't going to be more than two or three videos outside of the Monday Night Live a week. This is not going to be a five video a week channel unless I've been off for a little while and I have to do a catch up. Um, and what I'm anticipating is I'm anticipating doing um, kind of alternating. So, you know, nice, snazzy, whizzy review, live review, nice, snazzy, whizzy re review, live review. And those live reviews, because I've got the camera setups and all that sort of stuff, they don't look too bad. And uh, and so as, well, as long as my head is screwed on at that particular time, then uh, jobs are good and ordinarily, at least we, that's what we hope. But uh, but that's the plan. Now, where are we at with the Bassiums? I know a lot of people have been asking, which is fantastic. So I've got the finally got the um, finally got the production units or the the like the reviewer samples come through today. So um, I'm really pleased because we had to change the uh, the people that gave that that did the the black for us before, and uh, and we've got the black now, and I'm so happy with this. I think this looks just the tits. So uh, yeah, really really happy with the way this has all come through. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the the red one going on right there, and uh, and also the the brushed finish one, which just I think just looks so clean. Really, really happy from it uh, with it. I think it, I think it just looks the tits. So uh, no, they are starting to go out with reviewers over the next week. I think then uh, more reviewers will be getting their versions of it. Um, I have kind of asked for uh, reviews to come out on a certain date at the earliest, just to tr to try and encourage not. Now, how am I going to put this? Basically, it's to give people plenty of time. Uh, don't forget the green. No, absolutely. We've got green and blue as well. But um, it's to give people time to to kind of fully use it without i didn't want to release something and then there was a bunch of people that that saw it and went oh fuck i've got to get it out today um just to to, to sort of stay relevant so I've, I've had gotten a accompanying letter which asks for a specific date and that means my video is going to go out like the day before, and then um, and then uh, yeah, if people if people can do their reviews after that, then that's brilliant because you know hopefully, like I say, it just gives gives reviewers a little bit of breathing space rather than having to play or having to feel that they're playing catch up with everything else. So uh, no jobs are fucking good in there. Very bulky looking. Not really. Not really. 80, 80 millimeters by 41, 42 millimeters and 41, 42 millimeters. So no, not really. Um, so uh, so there we go. Now then, um, like I say, that's going to be coming out. The release date is the 6th of July. 
So because of the black situation, because of the, uh, the, the, the this black coating and, uh, and, and us having to change the, 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 the people that did it, um, that's why it took sort of an extra week as opposed to coming out on the 29th. So yes, but there we go. So if you, uh, if you're, if you're vape shop, yeah, uh, if you want to get your vape shop into it, then uh, get them to contact Dovpo or any distribution channels that they normally go through, and uh, and shit will start happening. But no, people will be getting them in very very soon, which is what I'm pretty uh, pretty fucking excited about. I'm not gonna lie, pretty fucking excited. Now then, how heavy is the mod? About as heavy as a normal two battery squonker. Um, similar to the Rage, I guess. Maybe weight wise. Always going to depend about what Pete on top on top and all that sort of good stuff as well. Um, so uh, M sixteen skills. How does the Bastion compare to the Rage? I am not going to. Uh, I'm not going to do a direct comparison because I think that that would be um, a little bit rude. To be honest with you, it's my product, um, and I don't. I don't want to necessarily. I don't know. I don't know. When I do the review, I might do just do a side by side of all of the dual battery regulated squonkers that I can find that I've still got, and uh, so you can see it in kind of in relation to others on the size scale. But I'm not going to say, you know, is it better than than you know X or Y or anything like that because obviously my opinion is somewhat biased. So uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I think it's fair fairer for other people to make that kind of comparison if they feel necessary. So there you go. I want to do it. I want to be as fair as possible, you know. Obviously, it's the best one in the world, but you know, there might be people that don't agree. <laughs> Tasteless people, but you know, don't think none of Anyway, so <laughs> so new stuff, new stuff that's come in. There is a bunch of new stuff that's come in, and uh, and we'll talk about things in a little while. But let's let's kick off with the layer cake from C. The, the the CSMNT people, District 5. Now then, where is my where is my focus? Here it is. So we've got this little puppy. Now, that is the layer cake. It's a little bit too fucking close, isn't it? Let's 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 do it there. Um, this is the layer cake cake, and it's a it's a nice looking little RDA, which is which is kind of cool. It does have a very very smooth airflow. There's a that sort of darker section in the middle, that band that is replaceable, so you can uh, you can replace that into slightly different colours. They offer a black one, a polished one, and a gold one. Um, and uh, and it looks quite short and dinky. It's a little twenty four mil, and uh, and is quite sweet. Now then, um, I have built this. You can see that there is a coil in there at the moment, or a couple of coils in there at the moment. Uh, and I built this for my uh, for my uh, patrons when I did my unboxing. Um, there we go. There is a District Five thing going on on there. And then underneath, we've got some heavy engraving. We've got some cool engraving on the deck and all that sort of good stuff. Um, however. This does have a really strange thing going on. So this has got kind of a, sil a single screw that goes down to clamp your wires. And there is like an insulator. They're calling it, what are they calling it? It's like a uh, like metallic and ceramic. Metam metamic? Or they're, they're giving it a weird name. Um, anyway, and it kind of insulates the positive from the negative, which is fine. However, something you have to be desperately aware of particularly those people that are going to put this on a uh, on a mechanical mod is that when the pin goes up through the middle uh, obviously that is for the the positive it goes directly from the the 510 underneath um, up through the middle ceramic steel that's the one um but uh, but uh, but the problem is there's zero insulation on the bottom uh, the, on the bottom section. So like I said, you've got sort of you've got like the top bit that puts you that, that that's got the clamp on it. There's a screw go through it. There's an insulator under there. Then you've got another insulator piece there that, that so the wire clamps down. That's for your positives. And then underneath there's another space under there for a uh, for, a, for for the negatives. However, that positive screw is going up in the middle there with zero insulation. So if you're not careful, and they show you this on the box to some degree, um, but if you're not careful, you can sh completely short out your uh, your your mech mod or whatever else. But because that's not there, if your negative lead touches that center screw in the middle when you're placing your coils in, then you can short everything out. And there's there's no there's no protection there. 
None whatsoever. Now, the reason they say that that's not the case is because or that, that you, they haven't put protection in there is because um, it would weaken the ceramic steel. Um, and so it's it doesn't it doesn't do what it you know, so they couldn't do it. Um, however, I don't think personally, I don't think that's an adequate explanation for not doing something. I think someone should have been able to design that better so you didn't have the the, the potential. Now, I think one of the other aspects that District 5 are saying is with every RDA, there is a learning curve. We all had to learn how to build RDAs a certain way to make sure they didn't short out previously. And so this is just like an extra step, which I kind of understand what they're talking about. However, the problem with that is, you know, we learned how to build RDAs years ago. You know, it was a thing. We we, we figured that one out. Um, to go, you know, to, 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 to take a car and say, well, we all had to learn how, where the accelerator was in a car. We just put it in the middle this time because, you know, you've just got to learn that again rather than being, in, you know, rather than being kind of accelerator, brake and clutch. We've gone fucking brake, accelerator, clutch or something like that. It's just a different learning curve. I don't think, personally, I don't think that's a good enough um, kind of reason for something to be the way it is. However, having said that, um, the vape quality, it's a very, very smooth airflow, which is very, very good indeed. Um, uh, the, the, the top cap, because of the way this is kind of laid out, on the first set of coils that I've had in here, um, it does get super hot super quickly. And this tiny little drip tip looks the the, bit, the bollocks on it. I think it looks great, but it's uh, it, it gets super warm. But it, because it's such a low profile drip tip, it does mean that you, uh, you, you your lips basically touch the top cap, um, and uh, and and it, when it's all very hot, it's it's not ideal. So. I think they should have gone further when it comes to the engineering aspect of this, when it comes to the design aspect of this, to ensure that uh, you couldn't short it out just by touching a screw. Because also, it's very, very difficult when you're putting your coils in to see what's touching what. And my uh, and my uh, the patrons when I when I put this together on the unboxing um, are fully aware of kind of what I was doing to try and make sure that uh, I wasn't touching anything that I shouldn't be and uh, and yeah it just is a little bit sucky for a single coil it would be easier to figure that out than a dual coil but when you're trying to stick dual coils in here it is a bit of a nightmare now um, that being said I think I probably will do a review on it just to make sure people are fully aware of the of the, the 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 i don't want to say danger because that's kind of you know that's the, of what you must 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 be aware of i think that's just a little bit sucky now kimmy says i couldn't agree more voting by today's market it's just it's not just uh expert hobbyists buying rebuildables and safety should be a priority not an expectation that the user will automatically know absolutely absolutely and the other thing is you know, you buy this secondhand without the box. You buy this without the little the little leaflet. Where, where have I got it here? Have I got it here? Where have I put it over there? Um, if I've got, here it is. Here it is. So this is the box that it comes in. And then when we take when we take this off, we have this on the inside. And this is what they're using to say, you know, don't fuck it up. So at the bottom there, that's the the you know incorrect way of doing it and the, the middle there is the correct way of doing it and it's showing that you've got to make sure that the legs are are spaced kind of well away from that center post which you know they've they've, they've th well done for putting this in but they shouldn't have had to and if someone gets one of these atomizers and they don't get this box with it for some reason they bought it second hand or whatever else then i think that's just opening them up to issues to be honest with you. So um, I do think that that's something that they should have paid more attention to, which is a bit of a pain in the ass because like I say, really lovely, smooth, smooth vape on it. And it's, it's really nice airflow. And I really like the look of it. And I think it looks really cool. Um, it's just that, that one aspect of it really, really just, you know, gets under my skin because it must have been something that it's not insurmountable insurmountable you know it's it's a it's a design thing it's a design aspect that someone clever somewhere should have had that task and said right you've got a week to fix this fucker 
and that should have been done in my book but there you go so i'm sure the uh the, the 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 vaping public will make up their minds about that as time goes on but that's uh that's that now then what have we got here so i cannot remember if you're the gentleman that contacted me about this and i think this is about um a guy that said i've got a friend of mine who's starting up a new company and um and uh, we just want to send you an idea you don't have to review it but just give it a crack and see what you think of it um this, this it's been a week of confusing things this week <laughs> this is the quark q u a r k not quack but quark rda um I'm not 100 percent sure I can show it to you, but I think I just as long as I don't go too hardcore, I think I probably can. From this company called New Gen, and it's a quark. So it's a little, it's it's quite a little RDA, 22 mil, I think it is. Let me just double check and get the old verniers out here. Hold you on. 21.6 this gets measured out at. So it's a little bit thinner, which is fine and dandy. Um, but I've got it sitting here on top of the legend at the moment. And uh, and yes, it's a, a rainbow. So I hate rainbow. That's 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 horrific. But um, but what we've got going on here is really kind of that's that's vile. It's really kind of interesting placement of things. So uh, you might you might just about kind of see if I. If I do that, you might just about see that my very dirty custard coil is in the middle of those two posts. Whoop, and I'm putting juice everywhere. Um, now, the interesting thing with this is you've got the air that comes in in the barrel, as you would do with a lot of atomizers, which is fine. Um, but it means that your air doesn't really, at any stage, have a clear run through to the middle of the coils. So, you know, you would you would look at it and go, well, that's not going to work and it's going to be shit. But this is where my brain is a little bit boggled, much like I imagine Mr. Todd's was when it came to the Geek Vape Master Lung. This one, I do not understand it one piece, but it works. And I've got to say, it's not a bad little atomizer. I've been using this quite a lot. And it confuses me. It upsets me. It confuses me. I do I seriously dislike Rainbow. But um, but it seems to be working. I'm I'm sure it could work a little bit better, to be honest with you, if your if your airflow kind of had direct access to those coils. But that being said, unless I've done something horribly wrong when it got it comes to the logic of where I've put the coil, it just it, it it shouldn't work, but it does work. Which is weird, and I've overdripped like a bastard. Tell you what juice I'm using a lot of today, and I've lost it. Now, here we go. I've had this for ages, and it's been steeping away. This is the Maple Bar Donut from Barista Brew, Barista Brew Co. And um, I think it's quite expensive, but it's um, initially, it tasted fucking horrible. Now, it's just really sweet and caramelly and... And uh, got a bit of a coffee vibe. Go it goes brilliantly with your coffee, but uh, can't really, really vape it all day. Ah, oh, dear. Right. Um, so that's the quark. Anyway, so that's 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 that little fucker. Um, now, one of the other things that's come through is the Wake Modco. Um, is it the Little Foot RDA? I think it's the Little Foot RDA. This little puppy is I like Wake Modco. Now they sent me a uh, they sent me the the kits before, um, but I did have a problem with both the mod and RTA, so it didn't it didn't get a review because then eventually they did send me them uh, again. But by that point, um, we'd kind of we'd kind of run away with ourselves. But this was the little little foot uh, sixty watt mod, which is a little kind of internal battery little affair, and it's uh, it's cute as a button, heavy as you like, but cute as a button comes in a bunch of different colours. Um, and uh, and so I, I will cover this and uh, and possibly I'll, I'll throw in a look of the tank when I do the review for this RDA. But this RDA is is a uh, is a is a simple little RDA. It's not going to set the world alight with with anything super original or anything along those lines. But it kind of it kind of works. Now this is rocking up at about forty um, pounds, so it's it's kind of you know fairly chunky. 
in the uh, in the in the cost of things to be honest with you um but uh, but no it's it's entirely reasonable and um the wake mod co company is 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 the company owned by the previous owners of dot mod who got unceremoniously I just had a really bad time when uh, when I think it was the board sort of kicked kicked them out of the uh, dot mod company. So they started this bad boy up now. Ordinary, if this was produced by I don't know Gig Vape or Vandy Vape or someone like that, this would be a twenty five pound RDA. I think pretty much twenty five thirty pound RDA. But I'm the the way I see it is these guys are a smaller company. Um, they're probably investing a crap ton of money uh, of their own to make these things happen, and so because of that, they can't make twenty, thirty, forty thousand of these things in in a go, and so don't get the best prices, and uh, and that's why it's the price that it is. However, I would strongly suggest um, supporting these guys instead of supporting Dot Mod. Um, if uh, well, that that's certainly uh, my, my take on things anyway. But uh, do what you like, do what you like, do a little bit of Google Foo and find out the facts for yourself on that one. But uh, but no, there you go, that's it. Anyway, I am uh, I'm vaping away on that. Let me just give it a little bit of squonky poos, and this will be getting a review. doing a grand job so really really enjoying that one now then what else have we got coming in uh we've got two more rdas today i don't think i've got any other uh mods at the minute i'm, I'm waiting on getting a couple of mods in which i'm very excited about uh but what we've got here is we have got the nada which is the not another dripping atomizer from um from vaping fagan and tiger tech so there we go. It's the Nardar um, from uh, from those guys. It's a fairly industrious looking beastie, and it's got sort of some interesting stuff going on. I'm not entirely. I haven't seen anybody show this yet, so I'm not going to show you the deck um, just in case that that's not sort of out there in the public domain. But uh, there's there's an undercoil situation going on, which is very very interesting. It's wide open, or it's um, or you've got these things that you can kind of reduce that down with, um, although you can't change the uh, the airflow on the on the underneath. Um, when it's when it's all together, if you like, once you 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 have to figure that one out. Uh, but we do also have side airflow as well, and um, you know, and it's it's I've been getting a little crack and go with this one. Flavor on it, not too shabby at all. Comes in the colours that I've got of this are um, the black one, obviously, which I'm trying. I'm testing out because I'm testing the uh, the coating. Um, we've also got like a gunmetal th version and also a stainless version as well. And uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty interesting RDA. You might be able to hear that it's not the quietest on that bottom airflow, and that's that's what I'm using at the moment. That's not the quietest. However, um, I literally it's just come in today, so I've not had a chance of building it and doing other things on it as yet. And I also want to try doing the other things if they're on there with the, with the bottom airflow and all that sort of good stuff. So there we jolly well go. But um, it's got a it's got a hell of a. Hell of a printing. Those people that don't like the things around the outside aren't going to like all the wording on the top there. But no, it's it gives you a fuck ton of options. I'm really looking forward to getting involved and trying out all those different options and seeing what's what. So that's going to be super cool. Now then, the final thing, I think, I think this is the fun. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Before I show you the RDA, um, this company, for some reason, also sent me a tank. Now this company is called is called uh, vxtech.com. Vxtech. We've got the XRDA, which we'll look at, at a mo in a moment. Um, but they also sent me a tank, <laughs> and it, 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 it. I probably shouldn't laugh, but it, it made me giggle a little bit, just because. And uh, let me let me kind of show you. Does that remind it? Look at that. Look at that drip tip, will you? Will you? Will you see it? Will you just suck that in? Just, just really take a good whiff of that bad boy. That's that's a hell of a that's a hell of a thing. That's that's really kind of retro on the drip tip. Now the tank itself looks pretty chunky, so you think to yourself, wonder what's going to be going on with that bad boy. Um, however, 
Let's take this tank apart a little bit. And we have boof this on the inside now this is old school again so you unscrew the uh, the top section like so and boom wallop that is k fun esque as much as you like that's that's you know but it does have some pretty chunky uh wick holes going on in there which is pretty cool and now uh, obviously you're going to have to trap your wire in between the sort of the side section um where is it? This this side section and the screw to make sure that the wire doesn't flick out. But uh, but no, that's a uh, that's a hell of a looking thing. Um, so you know it's uh, it's 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 a it's a strange one. It's a strange one because of its retro nature. And when you've when you screw down that kind of barrel thing, you can see that there we go at twelve o'clock. That's where some juice is going to go in, and then again down there at uh, wherever my thumb is. And then there as well. Those are your three juice channels that are going to get that juice in there. But that's, you know, that's that's retro AF, isn't it? Um, but that drip tip, that just that just made me die. I thought that was brilliant. But uh, to show you what it made me think that this was going to be mouth to lung, that is the size. It's a 510 drip tip. And that's the size of the uh, the chimney, which I thought was going to be, you know, it's definite mouth to lung. It had to be mouth to lung. Um, however... If I turn the airflow off, the airflow ring at the bottom, if I turn it off completely, I can still incredibly restrictively, but lung hit it. Um, so I have genuinely no idea where the air is coming in. <laughs> Not a clue. Um, but with that airflow fully open, it's a restricted, it's a restricted lung hit. Um so yeah, I mean, I, I probably will give it a go. This this won't get a review, um, but uh, I'll probably give it a go, and then I'll give it like a if it if it actually is like a you know a flavor beast, then I will uh, I will um, kind of give it a mention when I do the review for the RDA. But it's it just seemed it seemed crazily retro. It really really did. The uh, the tank outer is actually in three sections as well. So I don't know if they do kind of a uh, like clear sections as well as the. Uh, as well as the 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 ultim, uh, sort of looking um, aspect, but but no, there you go. So that's uh, that that was a that was a thing. That was a thing. Um, <clears throat> I might say if I see, I'd notice that some uh, divine destroyed says drill out the hole, make it direct to lung. Yeah, you could do. However, um, the the fact that your chimney is so thin or at least going up to the uh, uh, to the to the drip tip is so thin. I don't think you'd gain. There's only so much air that can get through that. So I don't think you'd be able to open it up that much. But it might be, it might be, I mean, I'm, I'm taking the piss, but it might be a little kind of a little flavor banger. You know, it, it had a uh, one of these big old restricted tank kind of rubber things on the inside of it or silicon things on the inside of it so i guess that's to take it from two mil i would think this could hold three or four mil of juice in there i've not really loved i know nothing about it not a fucking sausage um but uh but there you go so we'll see we'll see how that goes but uh, i just thought i'd show it to you because I, I thought the the retro aspect of it was spectacular and that drip tip can get fucked but um what else we got this is the rda from those guys now this is the x rda and um again um it's got an interesting little idea and this company is kind of you know i've i've never heard of them before but i kind of i'm kind of interested in this one purely because where you've got that um airflow you're screwing the top down Remember like we did where you sort of unscrewed the top section on the, on the original velocity? You're doing that with this as well. So you're unscrewing it and screwing it to adjust your airflow, which kind of seemed like a, a funky little idea. That seemed like a, a crazy fun, fun thing. And on the inside of it, we've got uh, nothing, nothing super special on the inside, but the inside of the barrel has these sections that are like really kind of closing in. And what that means is it really does reduce the air, uh, the chamber size, although your your coil does sit. I unscrew the top. I know I'm out of focus, but I'll come back in a second. If I unscrew the top, you can see that um, it kind of, it does put everything in there quite neatly. So it doesn't really reduce the chamber size from a flavor point of view, because the flavor is all about what's above the coils rather than what's below it. Um, and it has a kind of a, 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 
a, maybe a one or two mil kind of floating deck underneath there. Um, so it's a it's a strange little little idea, but um, I don't know if it's kind of being different for being different sake. Or if it's if it's an interesting little thing, I literally just threw coils in this before coming on tonight, so I've still got to uh, um, uh, vape some more on it and see what's what. But uh, but no, it's a it's a it's a, it's a strange strange one. Um, the annoyance that I know is going to happen from this is when you when you screw or unscrew your airflow. It's it's not loose as in it spins by itself, but it's not particularly tight either. So you're going to alter your airflow without really thinking about it. And uh, and because of that, I think that's going to annoy some people. But let's have a little toot on here. And it seems to be all right, you know. I'm quite surprised. It seems to be perfectly reasonable. Fully open. It seems to do the job. So we'll, I'll, I'm going to give this a little bit of a go. I think, I think, like I say, I think the fact that, you know, I can screw and unscrew this with one finger without putting any kind of real effort into it is going to frustrate some people. But never heard of the company before. They're doing something a little bit different that actually does make a little bit of sense. So, you know, fair play to them. Get your vape and biker mug at vapeandbiker.co.uk in the merchandise store. <laughs> um, now then, I think is that it? Is that it? I'm looking that I've got I've got shit all around the office. Um, I've, I think I've covered everything that's come in. I think. Let me just double check. Yes. I I have. Um, so what else is going on? Uh, a couple of other things. Um. I am I am I am kind of um, punting out another another reviewer who I think is doing really really well at the moment. Um, the mark the guy's name is Sam and he's got a channel. It's in, linked in the description. It's called Cloud Life, but with no e on the end because he's cool and funky. Um, so Cloud Liff. <laughs> but uh, he's he, what he's done recently is he's really kind of worked to improve his channel. So his last couple of videos are streaks and bounds better than what he's done previously. Most recently, he's done the Rift Core um, Duo, which is a, a little tank that I've been uh, having a little play with. Once again, it's highly unlikely it's going to get a review, but uh, I've been having a little play with it because this is the tank that uh, has got the kind of the heating elements on the inside, which I found burned the the buggery out of the, the 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 one lot of cotton or two lots of cotton that I put in there. But um, I think his experience has been very, very different. So uh, when you've finished watching this one, go and check out Sam's channel. Um, go and check out his Rift Core review because I think he's doing really, really well. I love to see people that want to improve what they're doing. If you've been with this channel for a long time, you'll know that I constantly always try and improve the quality, the visuals, the audio, all of that sort of stuff, as well as the quality of the review. So, um, um, when other people do that sort of stuff rather than just resting on their laurels and expecting stuff to just, well, no, that's a bit rude considering. <laughs> but but no, I really I really think the people that um, that kind of that, that constantly go to push themselves, particularly in the current market, um, should be should be celebrated. So go and check out Sam's channel after uh, after today, and uh, and we'll see how he gets in there. Um, and uh, and uh, where you go. <laughs> <laughs> evening evening mr t how you doing i'm sorry i was just resting on my laurels there for a second no 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 it's no. You're, you're different you're different i, no, I realized no. that as i was saying that that, no. that you would it would come across like i was being an obit i wasn't i was meaning in the current state of review you've got your niche it's, it's happening but with the current you know, bunch of reviewers. There's people that kind of started up and they can't be fucked to make it any better. And regardless of what you say, you do look to make it better. So take your hole. <laughs> just, just, let me know, just let me know how far down you get digging that hole. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I know what I meant. It was coming from a good place. Don't make me feel bad. <laughs> no, I, th I think that's admirable that you're promoting other up and coming YouTube reviewers, even though you don't promote some of the current ones like myself. 
God, you did. Oh, I tell you. Right. You've got me. You've literally got me having a sweat on now. Look, can you see? Can you see me glisten? Can you? I'm going to put my, going to put my thing on. Okay. Yeah, if you're watching, then um, let me know if you can hear the uh, the fan in the background. If it's super annoying, I will turn it off. But, uh, <laughs> you're an evil my, man. My work here is done. Thank you very much. And uh, good night. Good night. I uh, hope I get gonorrhea. Um, because right. <laughs> seeing it's, it's a bit cloudy up now. It's, it's actually not cloudy. That's actually <coughs> that's sunshine um, coming through there. Uh, oh, it's wow. normally covered in VG, and I cleaned the window today, so it's just there's actual light coming in because I constantly like to improve the quality of my video. <laughs> <laughs> don't look. I, don't know. I just that that's how I. That, this is the lengths I go to. I clean my window. Oh, why, man? <laughs> no, I, I, I shit, you know, I, I recorded a vlog this morning and I just thought to myself, do you know what, maybe I should clean the lens on this. And so I got a bit of paper out and cleaned it. Oh, my God. It's just like, um, yeah, that now that is how you improve the quality of your video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I think I told you, but I've been sent, I've been sent some of this stuff, this Duca glass and the guys, the guys made it for 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 particularly with vapors in mind, to because apparently a lot of people have issues getting um, VG off their windows and stuff. Not something that I have a huge problem with, but um, but uh, I'm going to go and give that a go. But I just thought I'd let people know about Duca glass. I've got no idea where you get it from. Not a clue. Do, but, do you uh, know what that reminds? Do you know what that reminds me of? Do you remember when Richard uh, vaping V1CK? He did. Um, a video with cotton buds yes yes you did vape, cotton buds for vapors that was such a good video <laughs> that, was that was genius <laughs> <laughs> anyway mr t right just give me a minute to stop sweating and uh, tell us how your week's been and what you're up to and what's going on in your world uh, uh just um just the usual um uh, try to remember my name yeah. um making tough decisions on on what shirt to wear um and uh, just getting you know worrying about if i'm if i'm actually fashionable anymore <laughs> you you've got the body warmer on is it a bit nippy in scotland why it's the middle of summer why have you got body warmer on it, it, well, it was very windy here today very windy, windy in the shed I, it's well yeah, the wind just <laughs> comes right through no it, it was um it was a bit nippy today yes <laughs> Uh, actually, I've I've not been up to much of anything. Um, obviously, I, I got some I got some more shit from China today. You know, mods coming in. It's just the usual kind of. Crap. <laughs> what, did, what did you get? Ah, uh, just some pish squonker. You know, just <laughs> it's massive. It's massive. I Even mean, shut your face. Is, Look at the size of it compared to my hand. See, <laughs> it's really big. Um. <laughs> Close, far away. Close, far away. <laughs> uh, no, uh, so obviously your squonker, uh, the, the the retail version arrived. Yeah. Today, which I'll I'll not talk about because obviously I I want to. <laughs> rip it to bits in a review instead no um and and other than that uh the new lost vape well not new well new board uh the lost vape um triad that's the one yeah that's the one what i call it triad it's triad triad Tri three there you <laughs> go <laughs> we'll call it the three battery um 18650 uh, DNA 250C so that arrived and that's the, the the vapor giant on top so but it's it's I did actually see it. it's a it's strange <laughs> all the, the, the mo I remember it's been ages since I've had one of these but in between then and now mm. I've had so many dual 18650 and you know mods from China yeah. that this doesn't feel as big as it used to when it first came out yeah you know, it's, um 
there's, there's part of me that I, I do wish they'd gone down a different route with the batteries, though. Um, yeah. 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 But hey, ho, what are you going to do? Um, I think the DNA 250C does have a reverse battery protection in it anyway, doesn't it? As opposed yes. to the original 200 didn't, I don't think, but the 250C no. does. So, yeah. But they're still using the, as we talked about earlier, the words help. <laughs> <laughs> the reverse battery protection, the mechanical ver with the rings. That's that's just what I was about to say, strangely <laughs> enough. Um, that, that's what I was getting to. Yeah, um, yeah so uh, I don't know. It's it's still good. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's it's still a good mod, um, and and obviously all that carbon fiber is just a good thing in my book. Yes, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I loved the triad. I thought it was a great. I, and I used it for so so long because it had that nice big top that you could put a big honking great big RDA on. But um, but oh no, the brown leather. Yes, carbon fiber. Fuck no. No. I, I I do like the fact that it's this is matching. It's got carbon fiber here and here. Yes. Rather than two different materials. Yeah. I, I do prefer that. But but it, it is what it is. Everybody knows the mod, it's just got an, a different board in it. So Yeah. Um, yeah. And 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 once again just this thing here. Um <laughs> <laughs> and you've put a dinky little tiny atomizer just to try and make it look big as well. <laughs> I didn't. That's that's a thirty mil RDA. Shut up, will you? That is. Look, that's a thick. Look, I'll get my caliper. That's a. F <laughs> that's... <laughs> no, it's not. That that's um for for those in the know. That's the, the it's a twenty four mil Asmodus C four. Oh, okay, so, is that any good? You've got. A re have you got a review up for that? Did I see? I, I, well, I wasn't a full-on review. It was like your live videos. It was kind of like lazy. Couldn't be bothered doing a real one. So um, <laughs> uh, just I'm on form tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you this: this video won't be going on for long. Um, it, it's it's good. It's it's actually it's very very good, and it puts some of my more expensive RDAs to shame. Uh, wow. to be, brutally honest um but no not bad good good times going back to that vapor giant i saw on the vapor giant facebook group page whatever it is um that they, they recently put a picture up of the the tube mods with the bottom firing thing are they new is there a stacked one of those that's new or are they the old ones i think it's the old ones mate. i don't know if they've done an updated tube i, re I really don't know they've, they've been doing the stacked ones and for for, for years now yeah, yeah. It just—it's one of those stacked big bastards that I, I think would just—I I think I'd actually really like one. I want one. Have a word with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I would if, if I was going to promote any reviewer with a company, you know, and give a shout out to an up and coming channel, it would be you. <laughs> it would be you. <laughs> but uh, anything else you got going on? You've done a, a bunch of reviews again. Um, over the last week, I think you've put a few out, haven't you? Um, um, and uh, yeah, uh, no, I was because I was I didn't do anything over the weekend at all. I don't think. Um, no, I didn't. Um, why is that rattling? Anyway, um, what else? No, the there's modus uh, pumper. That was the the last kind of thing that I did, um, gotcha. and. Got my vlog, and I don't know what. I, I think I'm going to be doing the. I'm just putting a battery in it just now. The the basic, uh, the basic one version one point one. This little guy here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a. It's if you're a squonker, it's a fantastic little dripper. Um, because the the air holes are actually up and top on the deck. Oh, oh, well, that's cool. That's an, an interesting new little, little. Hang on, let me put the camera on you. Hold on. See, it's going to focus now. There we go. So the, the air holes are up the top there. Oh, nice. Um, well, it's pretty cool. But uh, <laughs> to build, it's just the same as, you know, everything else when it comes to building these days. It's same old design. But but the, the airflow is kind of interesting on it. And what's it's it called again? The, the B 
basic basic uh, who makes it uh five the actual the actual number five a oh, okay interesting that's, that's that wasn't me impersonating a canadian there it's actually <laughs> number five and an a <laughs> is there um is there how do you get hold of those um, you, you obviously you can't buy it because it's something I'm reviewing. Um, <laughs> you have to join a very secret group, know at least ten people, and uh, counting pages. <laughs> yeah, and, and and own a goat. <laughs> own a goat. Um, it's, no, it's they, they have their own Facebook group. Um, okay. And so it's it's I think it's quite readily available through their Facebook group. Excellent. Good. Right. There we go then. So that's something to, uh, is it expensive? I mean, you know, you've, you've got it. So I'm imagining about four and a quid, but you know, uh, no, no, just your seventh born. Um, and, uh, and a goat and <laughs> no, it's, um, oh, is it 80, 80 or a hundred? It might be. Okay. I okay. don't know. I never paid for it. <laughs> 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 so rude <laughs> right i'm going to start keeping an eye on chat now so if you do have a question start them with at vaping Bike or at todd's reviews and then please 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 put your uh question in uppercase in capital letters just hit that smash that cap caps lock button and uh, it just helps us see it now then m16 at todd's reviews have you tried the uh, gas mods gr1 rda yet no i've not uh oh. I've I've not. It's, um, did you not? Um, how did you get on with yours? Yes, I have not had a great experience with mine. I have not had a great experience with mine. Um, I uh, I left mine with with stuff in it for uh, I don't know. It was a few days or a week or so or whatever. And um, the the it's got these kind of like airports on the inside that you can pull out with a little O ring around them. And all around that area has kind of gone really manky, and I don't really understand why. Um, I popped up, I asked, I put the question to my patrons because I know a few of those had one as well. Um, and none of those had had the issue. So I'd, I've got no idea what's gone on with mine, but it looked like there was some kind of reaction on the inside of it. So, yeah, I don't really know what's happening about that. But I mean, that was an RDA that I bought uh, rather than got, you know, got sent. So um, I don't know. I don't know. It's just one of those things. It'll was probably it, end up going the, in the bin. Was it the, the, the little ports? Them, do you know what they're made of? These little airport things. No, I don't. They seem to be. They seem to be either media blasted or like anodized or something. Um, but uh, no, it just it seems to have gone a little bit on the the weird side. So I don't really understand what's what's gone on with that one. And there was this kind of, um, you know, when you leave an RDA for. I don't know, a year or something, and it kind of it just sort of festers in its own crap, and you get that kind of white, kind of nastiness going in. There was sort of some of that going around on the inside, but it it really it hadn't been long at all, so I don't really understand what the what the score is with that one. Yeah, very strange. Very yeah. strange. Yeah. I, I'm just uh, Bill. Bill's asking what mod that was on. That's the the mechanic uh, that squonker from Norway. Uh, Okay, desi okay, design one word mods. Is that eighteen six fifty or twenty one seven hundred? It's eighteen six fifty. Okay, yeah, eighteen six fifty. No. But obviously, it's very small. See, ah, I see. Very nice. Very nice too. Um, like that, which is very large. See, like that's, <laughs> that's, the size, that's the size difference between the two. Just. <laughs> <laughs> close far away close far away uh, um, uh divine destroys says vaping biker love my goon 1.5 but in a love hate, love hate relationship with it more hate because building on the clamp star deck could you recommend an rda similar to the goon with no clamp deck there is so many rdas that offer a really really good um good type of vape now and it hugely depends on how much you want to spend how much airflow you like and all that sort of good stuff to be honest with you i would just check out you know a bunch of reviewers channels just click on a lot of people a lot of us have rda playlists so go and check out sort of those playlists and see what tickles you fancy but um you know i'm i'm perfectly happy with a bunch of the different rdas that i've got in front of me that i've talked about already tonight as well as a you know a bunch previously so there's a load out there that are really really good um nut chandler says uh todd's review so has uh, mentioned um 
has Sam the Bogan mentioned sending out his new Bonza 1.5? Uh, yes, I've spoken to him and um, he should be fine and dandy. Um, I should be getting one. Um, uh, the basic one is about 90 quid, says Phil Walton. Is that right? Uh, but yeah, but 80, 90 pounds, I think it is. Splendid. Yep. Neil M asks, uh, any closer to a larger size merch? I tried to. The company that did my uh, larger size uh, hoodie, I approached them again last week to say, right, we need to get this cracking. And um, we've got an issue. We've got an issue with it. They, they they can't do one of the things that I um, I sort of specified when I asked them previously, and they said they were probably going to be doing it this year. They can't do it, so I'm now back to square one trying to find another direct-to-garment printer, a DTG printer that does good quality stuff with a good array of products. I really like the people that I use. I really like the the, the quality of their gear um, and their T-shirts. Their double XLs seem to be bigger than they used to be, so that's good. But um, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I've still got to do it. But again, all the work on the Bastion has kind of taken up a lot of time. So it's not been something that I've been able to dedicate time into finding. But uh, I will try and find Todd size shirts at some Boy. point. Boy! <laughs> I meant just because you're tall, mate. That's all. Not, That's not, not, no, there's no need for that. No, I, I'm not saying go to go outdoors or, you know, anywhere like that to try and find one. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> no, I'm um, just um, just carry on, carry on. Remember, I need you, and I can break you. <laughs> this is true. Uh, Brian, our vapor biker, what cotton do you prefer? I use Muji just because it's super cheap. Um, I've tried a bunch of cottons that I enjoy, but Muji is cheap, does the trick, and I've got no complaints with it. Um, have you done the night cut? No, I haven't, James. No, no, I haven't. Hey. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, is your new mod going to be shipped to the US? Asks Toby Bridges. Yes, yes, it will be. I don't know which. Um, I don't know which uh, companies are doing that, but I will have. I will have information out there into in the big wide world about distribution and all that sort of stuff when we get to that point. Uh, is the corrosion between dissimilar metals? Asks Rick Mason. Something I thought about as well on the GR1, but. Um, it's hard to tell because they look the same, but I don't know if they are. So I, I pff, no idea. Not, not, not flipping Scooby. I'm afraid. I don't know. Um, what else have we got going on? Ha. Uh, when will the Bonza 1.5 arrive for review? I don't know. Whenever it arrives, it arrives when it arrives. Uh, have you guys tried the Rebel Mods DNA 250C? No, I have had Rebel Mods me. DNA 75 a while ago, and it was it was very good. Had no problems with it, no issues. Uh, what else have we got? Twisted Mister Twenty Four Recoil Rebel, are my go-to says Scott Miller. Great stuff. Um, uh, Schwarzy is buggering. Uh, sorry, no, says bugger, bugger, bugger. Been at work. Hi, Dean and Mark. Holy crap! There's a load of questions there. What are you see? You should, oh, fuck, I tell you, um, Cos Steve. Any closer to your D Pro Mini review? Yes, I am actually. I uh, I managed to record a load of my B roll for it yesterday. Uh, was super excited. Was it yesterday or even Saturday? I can't remember. One of the days, really. I think it was yesterday. And I wanted to get that review out yesterday, but unfortunately, the, uh, the illness side of things got hold of me, so I ended up going to bed all afternoon. So I was I was buggered, much like I have been this afternoon as well. So um, once I once this once the bassium stuff is done like i said earlier on then i will be back to getting out more reviews again so thank you so much for your patience if you've been uh, if you've been waiting for me on this one um amongst illness and 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 uh, bassium work and stuff just my time has been uh, not as uh, as abundant as i would like to have said previously um uh you're going to review the reload x rda soon no plans to i don't think i have it um your usual clap to why can you use it in tc with canthal outer i would have thought so i've not tried it roy i've not tried it to be honest with you buddy um actually no the current goes around the outside of a clapton not the inside so i i don't know did it go around the outside the, yeah I just can't. ask me i can tell you about that <laughs> can you though <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm don't ask me yet i'm sitting here i'm trying i'm playing with a stacked 26 650 mod <laughs> it's a little disconcerting that your wall is waving in the wind is it oh, i got a moving is my backdrop moving sorry not a backdrop is my uh oh there it is look yeah it is oh ah, well uh, that's that's gonna that's gonna annoy people now you um, see if, if you had a real shed <laughs> 
if you yeah. had real wood, I might do. <laughs> that's real wood. That's um, kind of. There's real wood in the outside of this <laughs> stuff. I've got wooden crates. Does that help? <laughs> um, when is the Bassium Mini coming out? <laughs> Not. Um, uh, on the shelf behind you, there is uh, orange coloured Bassium. No, there are two red ones. It's just the the light everywhere it makes them look a little bit orange on camera. But no, they they are that that is red. Um, the great thing about the uh, the the colours, the red and the green and the blue, is that it kind of it's got this kind of um, uh, not metallic, but like almost like a candy vibe going on with it. So it's uh, it's not super glossy, and it means that it kind of has darker and lighter aspects depending on on how the light is hitting it. So I'm really into it, to be honest with you. But there you go. Uh, but then again, what we've what we've done as well is by having the brushed finish version of it, you've got something that is super easy, super simple, um, and hopefully, look, it has the Bassium logo on the bottom there. How's that? That's not in your face marketing, is it? That is subtle as you like. Um, but uh, but um, hopefully we'll be able to find, uh, I've got to speak to Zap Wraps to see if they're likely to be able to do wraps for it. Because the idea is if, you don't, if, you're, if you're really angry with your paintwork and you fucking chunk your mods around all over the place, then uh, you can always pick this up. And if you get bored of it being kind of just the brush finish, then bang a wrap on it and, uh, and jobs are good. You can tailor it. You can put carbon fiber all over it if you want, Todd. I, oh, I've so got to do that for the review. If you do, uh, I will. I will drive to Scotland and punch you in the testicles. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that. Ah, uh, see no more. See no more. <laughs> will the GR1 clean up in an ultrasonic cleanup? No idea. Don't know if I can be asked. Um, what's the name of your modern when's it released? The Bassium and the 6th of July. Uh, is Jared the Vaping Go on your reviewer list for your mod? I have no idea, Phil. I have no idea, my friend. Um, miss you on Fresh's show. Uh, Bud Squonker looks kicking. Thank you very much, Shindo. And I have actually been vaping Shindo's um, uh, uh, mango. What's the mango? What's the mango? Though? It's mango sticky rice. Shindo mango sticky rice. And it's a really strange flavour, but I've really been enjoying it. Go across. Ah, shit. Someone's doing it in the UK. Can't remember who it is. Vapable, maybe? Or chef's flavours. Could be chef's flavours. But um, it's a, it's a, like the concentrate. So if you like making your own juice and you like a little bit of mango, go and try it. Man um, Shindo's mango sticky rice. Uh, what else have we got? Have either of you seen the drop solo yet? I've seen pictures of it. Have you seen that? It looks interesting. No, I've not. I've not seen it. I've seen that on uh, on um, on social media. But that's about what, as far as we've got. Um, uh, vaping swag. Uh, what? There's excellent vaping swag in the US. Does excellent t-shirts, etc. Fantastic. However, to get them shipped from the US would cost an arm and leg. I've tried to buy t-shirts in America before, and the shipping has just been ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I've got an idea. Go on then. See when I go to the States in November. You, honestly. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just you, you, oh God, I'm gonna do long arms for you. <laughs> Far away. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, Keith, Keith's asking about the 26650. That's the it's one of the ones I picked up in Germany. It's the Labris. <laughs> it's like it's fully telescopic, but it's um, aluminium, and that's actually series in series. That, um, and I've just realized that I haven't actually got anything I can put on it with, so um, that, that's what I'm playing about with. Fantastic. Um, how many watts does the Bassium do? 180. We didn't want to overpromise and under deliver, but it does have a super economical board in it, which I think will, uh, will be happy for some people. Can I have a Bassium for free? No. There you go. Answer that. Get one. up, yeah. <laughs> when are you doing a stab wood version for Todd? That would be cool, wouldn't it? I would. I'd love to do a stab wood version of the Bassium. I think that'd be mint. But it would. Uh, it would be even bigger. So I don't. I don't know if I'd really be into that. I like this. Well, fuck it. I'll, I'll tell you all about it when I do the, the video. Um, Chef's flavors do the mango sticky rice. There you go. Good, excellent. I'm waiting for the drop dead RDA. Uh, I should. I should be reviewing that as well. Um, 
but uh, we'll see. We'll see if they send anything to me. Uh, how long do you suge- how long do you suggest we steep the banana ringy dink that you made a while back? <laughs> two weeks, for no reason other than it's just a number. Most things are better after two weeks. You just made that up. I did. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> steep to taste. There you go. <laughs> uh vapor biker can you not do anything for mark's lighting no he's a lost cause <laughs> what's wrong with my light my lighting is pretty poor <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see that the colors aren't changing your color balance is better <laughs> yeah i've got i told i just clicked on default and and left it <laughs> that's, that's, um <laughs> um <laughs> it's just shouldn't ch- I'm not no, I'm not baiting in that one. Sorry. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh, can you use Nick salts in a short fill bottle over a Nick shot? I imagine so. If you get the right um type of of Nick salts, I have not, I've never really used them to be honest with you. I've only used them in the Dr. Salts um uh 50/50 stuff that I've had for some tanks. So I've never really, I've never used it. Not tanks, pod systems. Um, have you got the Zathog RDA? Do you like the light? The Zathog. Is that from R oh, U D? Didn't they have a Zathog? No, I never heard of it. Don't know anything about it. I think you're lying to me, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> have, I, have, I, have I said something wrong? No, 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 you've not said anything. The, the Zathog is uh, is made by Morton Owen. It's the um, it's the the third is it a third no it's is it, is it it's it's a big old beastie it's a big right. one okay. uh, dual coil um hit the high notes with it um <laughs> uh, uh, no i don't i'm sure you had a zathog at some point i'm gonna have to search that now the uh, zathog is uh, it's morton and uh, cthulhu yeah yeah i just i'm just convinced that uh, no it is yeah you're right it is but i, I mm. I could have sworn that they did do a similarly named product at one point in time. Um, uh, Cameron Edgar says he keeps getting skipped. Okay. Sorry about that, Cameron. Have you put, do you put your question at Vaping Bike or at Todd's Reviews and then put the question in uppercase? I don't know. Uh, Jibby Jeff says Duke of Glass Cleaner can be purchased here. Uh, you can't put links in, I'm afraid. Um, so let me know afterwards, and I will put a link in the description after the video. So there we go. Uh, should send Todd a Bassium wrapped in wood effect sticky back plastic. Now that is an eye. No. <laughs> no. Do you remember that e-leaf dual battery thing that had that kind of, it had like a, a wood effect sticker that went around the outside? Yeah, did the the fifty watt Pico not have one? I have no idea. Never. Uh, had one. But um, uh, Julian Lee is asking about the. Have I seen the steam tuners cart cap for the dwarf? Yes, I have, and it looks lush. Looks really, really nice. <laughs> lush. Are you, are you a fourteen year old girl? I am. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Denny Wright Todd's reviews thinking about trying a pod and normally vape at three milligram, but it seems that most people use pods with higher milligram nick. Why? Um, do you want to take that? You've been trying out that Vladin recently, haven't you? Yeah, the, the the short and sweet version, and this will probably be very embarrassing because words have not been my friend today. Most pod systems, mouth to lung thing are mouth to lung, uh, restricted draw and see you normal actually my words really aren't going to work today go and help me <laughs> so if you're vaping a mouth to lung and it's just a really tight wee draw and you take a blast on it it's just say it's half what you normally take into your system yeah but so to get that same nick hit you have to increase the amount of nicotine that you're taking in with each draw and also people don't chain vape them as much as they would do say an rda so you're gonna, you know, a little, little and often gives you the same nick as regular and, yeah, more often. Um, <laughs> I think we, I think we've talked about this, but I, I, I struggle with it because I, I'm a creature of habit and I take so many vapes, say within an hour. It's yeah. just, just a, a, an action that you do. Um, so if I'm using a pod, <laughs> don't go there. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> 
um, so <laughs> I thought I, I really thought I had the upper hand at the start. <laughs> Uh, I thought I was on. I thought I was on to a winner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Moving on then. <laughs> yes. uh, Me pod. Any thoughts? Asks uh, Paul Hewitt. I wasn't a huge fan of the uh, the the Me pod, and there was only there was one reason for it. There was one reason I wasn't a huge fan, and that's because. There, everything came out of just this little section, just this little hole right on the end there. So you put your mouth over that whole section and you take a little drag on it and it kind of only comes out there and it, it feels weird. The original coils ran super hot, so it'd feel like you were kind of burning a bit of your lip and I just didn't like it at all. Um, quite tight enough for my particular kind of mouth to lung kind of um, the style of vaping but it is something that a lot of people really do love and it's little kind of form factor is pretty good i believe they've got some new coils according to uh, mr grim green he mentioned in his vlog uh, on thursday and uh, <laughs> grim did this brilliant thing and I, uh, there was a bit of his vlog where he just went oh and just did the, it reminded me of garth from wayne's world and so I was, I was kind of watching him, and I had to record a bit of that screen of him doing it, and I put it on an Instagram story going, all right, Garth. <laughs> anyway, he found it funny. Um, <laughs> can you see anything else? Have you got any questions going on there? Uh, there's there's um, um, somebody's asking if I have tried the biochip RDA. No, I have not. Uh, my apologies, sick boy. Um, the, the Funkadelic fan. Uh, says pods are for grannies. What? I don't know. It's just um, just it's obviously school holidays just now. Um, Vaping biker, did you review the Tabino RDA? I did not. I've got that's the one that came on the Luxotic, isn't it? Yes, it is indeed. I've got one here, um, and uh, Jabo got uh, got the gut. No, actually, gave me this one when we were at Expo, so it was way too late to do a review of it. Um, and it's it's kind of it's an all right. It was a better atomizer than I was expecting, I think. Um, but uh, I've not really used it enough to really formulate a, a strong decision because I've been using review gear more so. But uh, I do need to have a proper. It's a nice little mod, so I do need to have a little play with it at some point in time. I think you can get if you get the build right, you can get excellent. You can get just as much as anything else these days. You can get just as good a flavour from it as nearly all the other RDAs in the market. It's actually very good. It's just, I found the, the, the metal was just too thin. Right. And it, it got hot so quickly. That, that was my major negative with it. Okay. Well, you know, you and your big monster Claptons and, and high wattage vaping. I yeah, know. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Diddy Wright says it's a bit of a spitter. That would, um, you obviously have some advice on that, I'm sure. <laughs> tight That's... wicks tight air wicks yes and not any stapled staggered fused claptons in a in a low pro rda stable staggers do not work um either go aliens or or clapton claptons in my uh, humble opinion totally agree <laughs> 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 um, uh is that the is that the g still on that hoofing great mod mark i know that that's them because i couldn't find anything that i could run on a, a series configuration i've taken it down to single 26650 and i've got the gillette on top that is a beast that is a big setup. <laughs> Have you seen the way you fire it? Watch, watch, watch. Uh, it's really cool. Can you, can you like lock that so you can put it in your pocket without firing it, or does that not lock? Yeah, you just unscrew the top cap a bit, and then that nothing's happening. Okay, okay. It, says it just fired there, actually. Oh, okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking for a squonking RDA recurve, not enough airflow. Um, expensive stuff is fine. Fuck time. Most RDAs are squonkable these days, Cameron. So whatever tickles your taste buds, my friend. Um, you know, there, there's there's new RDAs coming out every week. So you know, it, it just depends on what kind of thing works for you. Single coil, dual coil, big airflow, little airflow. You know, 
uh, fucking undercoil airflow, side airflow, top airflow, whatever kind of thing tickles your fancies. There's so many now. It's it. There used to be a thing where years ago, three or four years ago, you could say this atomizer, you know, unlike anything else, go out and buy one. But now you just can't. It's not a. It's not an option these days because they're pretty much. You know, they're not all the same, but the vape quality you get from them are very, very similar. So huge dependent on what you think, you know, I mean, you might look at, at something like the not another dripping out miser and go, well, that's a little bit too busy. Um, or you could look at the the wake mod one and go, well, I don't want a gold top on it. So, you know, there's there's a bunch of different ideas and options that can influence that choice. Yeah. How do you uh, steep your e-liquid? I put it under my armpit for about a week. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, 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 I will occasionally. I'll leave the top off it for a couple of hours after mixing, and then just put it in a drawer and forget about it. Um, otherwise, I don't leave the top off for a couple of hours, and I just put it in a drawer and forget about it. And that's yeah. that's about it, really. Did you ever try the um, chucking it in a, a whirly gig? Not the whirly gig, but the the supersonic. No, the ultrasonic even. I did. I did. I used to do that regularly. And um, and I think it does help a little bit because it's got a gentle warming. And I think the kind of the, the shifting does help things kind of bond together, particularly if you've got a lot of VG, if you've got high, thick VG content of your juice. I think that does help things just a, a wee tad. But, um, you know, not it, it's still going to require steeping, whatever. Yeah, I try. I had a couple of bottles of um, custard that I got from uh, Billy at Vaping King. And I was actually, I was heading away to, where was I going? Stuttgart. And, and um, so I took one of the bottles and for an hour, I had it in the ultrasonic and put the two bottles next to one another. And one of them was considerably darker. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, did you notice a difference on flavor? Did you do a taste test or did you not? Yeah, it was, there was a difference. There was a, a noticeable difference. So, yeah. Uh, but I, I usually just chuck it in an airing cupboard myself. Yeah. Or yeah. or a cupboard where you have your hot water boiler, if you don't know what an airing cupboard is. <laughs> <laughs> Lois, did you use your homemade coils in your in replay mode? Do you know what, Lois? I have, I can't remember. I genuinely can't remember what I've used in replay. I haven't had any other mods to to use in replay <laughs> mode, so um, I've not. Uh, I I I always I have. I've got my my Wizzy mod from from Matt, um, but no, I've not tried it. In all honesty, I'm not going to lie to you. I've not tried it. Um, uh, Andy Fairchild, if you could, uh, you know, put then uh, your question with the uh, vaping biker or Todd reviews in uppercase uh, and ask your question again. <laughs> Did we miss someone? Yeah, no, no, no. He, he had. A, he, he was just asked. I'll see it. Just no. Just, I can see it. And no, just <laughs> stop. I can't tell you. <laughs> if only there was a specific <laughs> device designed. Oh, for mixing your juice. God. <laughs> um, <coughs> I saw someone gaffer tape juice. I think it was like gaffer tape bottles of juice onto the outside of their washing machine. Ages ago, there was this thing on Facebook of this guy doing that. And it was jumping up and down and doing a marvellous job on the, on the outside, not in the drum, obviously. And yeah. uh, I thought that was a genius idea. So people, more people need to do that. <gasps> there you go. There's a thing. Look. What we need to do is we need need to, to to patent and then 3D print a juice bottle holder that holds a kind of a, a normal unicorn bottle or a gorilla bottle, and um, and uh, and uh, um, you can attach it to the outside of your of your washing machine, and then when your washing machine goes fucking leery, it mixes up your juice. <gasps> Look, don't tell anyone. A fucking dragon's den idea that is. I did, just 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 in case I I zoned out for a moment. Did you just tell a story about the cake mixer? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> did, did you not? Did you not? So, did you not see the one on uh, Facebook that took? He took the bottle and he put it in a, a cake mixer. I did not. Yeah, and you know, and switched it on, and the bottle was just going round and round and round, and and, and the same effect. Well, no, I disagree because. When you have like 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 with with the nightcore mixer that does this, you can have a little um, little jobby in there which will spin it Sorry. around 
like a, a, a monkey and it'll spin like that really, really quickly, which is fine. But then you've got centrifugal or centrifugal, centrifugal force that just pushes the juice out to kind of one way and it doesn't it doesn't mix it. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> Didn't know you, 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 no, check your hole. Um, no, I'm not putting any jobbies inside my little bottles. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> uh, talking of DNAs, how's this, oh, people are just giving me shit tonight, aren't they? Look, there's two things. Uh, the Daedalus review finally got done. So that was t one of the three things that are, are outstanding. But um, no, <laughs> just I like gaffer tape the juice to a rampant rabbit. <laughs> 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 That's brilliant. Um, <laughs> um, what is the smallest gauge wire that can be used with the Daedalus Pro? As in core wires, Brian R? I imagine. I imagine 28 gauge, I would think, possibly, maybe. Um, any it, it, because you need to have a certain amount of tension with the with the with the Clapton wire itself. If you're using if you're going to use um, too much of a thin wire, it could it could bend it and cock it up. But I guess you could play with it and see what's what. Uh, why does it seem that I get just as good flavour from round wire basic coil compared to Clapton? Don't know, Phil. Don't know, mate. But uh, if, if that's what works for you, that's what works for you. It makes your coil building a lot easier. Give it that one. It's because you're normal, Phil. That's <laughs> why. It's because you're normal. <laughs> but uh, what else have you got? Check it the tumble dryer. No, Julian, that'll get too hot. Um, I have a friend who worked at B&Q and used to use the pink mixer to machine for his DIY juice. Oh, Dino's in. All right, Dino. I've not seen you for ages, mate. Um, that's uh, that, there you go. So go to your local B and Q and just ask them nicely if they'll do that for you. <laughs> um, Brian says, "Sorry, the wrap wire again, mate. It's uh, I've, I think I've gone down to definitely done thirty eight gauge. I might have done forty gauge at one point in time, um, but I think any any uh, when it comes to Clapton's, I think going any thinner than forty eight gauge is just you know an artistic looking thing. I don't think it helps your." your your vaping experience in any way shape or form to be honest with you i think there needs to be the outer kind of like curvature for the juice to sit in and if it's too thin you get less of that and it's just basically a flat wire then so i don't really think it, it works well um do you know any uh, do you know any very good white chocolate flavor juice asks luca custom vapes do a white chocolate one that isn't bad um can't remember the name of it but i think it's it's Ah, oh, I, I looked at it a while ago. Can't remember the name of it. Can't see it in my juice stores. But if you go at customvapes.co.uk and uh, go and check them out. But uh, there we go. Right. Any more for any more? Is there anything that you wanted to chat about tonight, Mr. T? I, I, I'm just going to answer a quick question. Somebody answered about the Asmodis C4 compared to the Curve. Uh, the draw is very, very similar. Very similar. Um and they, they also suffer from the same issue that when you squonk, uh, the juice covers the holes and then your initial draw has that. You're, you're sucking the juice off oh, the, the, the recurve. Yes, the recurve, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. It's very similar. Um, Phil and Sick Boy are asking about uh, Inno Wire. Yes, I've tried it. It's, it's very good. It's very good. It's um, comparable to NI80. Um, but yeah, it's good stuff. I've, I've got some. Yeah, I think you sent me a, a, a spool of it, didn't you? Um, yes. I think I've still got it in my little <clears throat> in my little thing that I've, uh, I've I've kind of I've given it a quick use, but for some reason I didn't I didn't actually get into using it. So I've not really not really made up my mind on it yet. Um, what else have we got? Uh, lots of people are suggesting things. Oh, look at that! Look, uh, are you getting rid of that one, Mister T? I think it just did, didn't I? Message deleted. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll bin it off. You're all right. Um, uh, <sighs> uh, 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 uh. Thunder, what is with all the thoughts in chat? I have no idea what that means. Uh, Socrates cab driver. Love you long time. Um, what am I looking for? I've actually got a 24 mil... Uh, I've got a 24 mil RDA coming and I've just absolutely forgotten what it is. <laughs> oh no, it's the 
oh, it's possibly the one you've been talking about all night. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the cross between the drop and the dead rabbit type thing? The drop dead. Is it? Yeah, you've got the drop dead, which is the the, the collaboration of Billy and uh, uh, the Vapor Chronicles, Brian. Um, and then you've got the, 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 the single coil drop version, which I've forgotten the name of, but somebody mentioned earlier on. I remember hell it's coming from hellgate i think it's hellgate it's coming from hell vape hell vape even thank you <laughs> <laughs> is that is that the one you were talking about earlier on nope <laughs> oh, oh well there we go there we go um <laughs> um right what else have we got anything else going on no is there anything else that you wanted like in the vaping world that you wanted to to mention or talk about or anything going on I would just like to point out that this mod, this, this mod was made by a hairdresser. <laughs> and, and it's a 26650, but it also comes with reducers so that you can use 18650s as well. Do you want to know what the reducers are? I do. I do. Hang on. I'm going to put the camera on you for this. <laughs> Cuddlers. Look at that. How awesome is that? <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> They're brilliant. It actually, what I've, I, I thought he was taking the piss when he said to me that he was a hairdresser. And then I got home with the thing and opened it up. And <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> uh, just brilliant. So, yeah. Um, that's an 18350. <laughs> um, um, Phil saying, uh, saw Mike Vapes at Expo and he mentioned a 22 mil cap for the recurve. Have you guys heard anything? I haven't. I heard. I. I. I, heard, I think I had him mention the same thing, but um, but I've not heard anything of that of that particular cap as yet. Yeah. What else have we got going on there? Uh, any other questions coming in? No, I don't think. M16 says Mike Vapes mentioned them on the vape team the other week. There you go. So go and check out. Go and check out that bad boy. Yes, the 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 curlers could. I, I need to put some stuff on my beard. I'm I'm a little bit frazzled, but yes, I could put the curlers in the old uh, in the beard. That look cool as you like. Pardon me, windy pops. Good, right? I think we've covered a, a fair fair old blast today. What did you think? Did you watch my uh, my show and tell of uh, of that thing? I did. Yes, I I left a comment stating that 2012 called. <laughs> and, uh, it's yeah, it's it's actually it's nothing. I mean, the it's, it's very Kefan esque. It is, you know, even it? with the, the the split tank there, the, you know, the stainless steel bit in the middle. I mean, we had that for the Kefan as well, and it's it's nothing new. No, uh, no. I mean, it's. I think this is twenty four mil in diameter, and it, it'll hold a fair chunk of juice. Like I said earlier, and I think it'll probably hold three or four mil. Um, and it, it's going to be interesting to see if it actually sort of is a decent vape, I guess. But um, but that deck as well, I mean, that is just old school, if you like, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Very much so. So I think it's going to be an interesting little little thing, you know, possibly. Because, you know, there's people out there that haven't been vaping and, and remember the original K funds, or they've never used them and all that sort of stuff. So I think we forget about those guys quite a lot. I think. Yeah. I think, you know, like... Um, Addy, Mr. Tuney did. You know, yes. like he used to customize K funds and stuff like that. You know, yes. grab an old K fund, drill it out a bit, sort out the wicking on it, and you're away. It's it's just as good as anything that's on the market today. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, Dean Rob Beard with Castrol R. No, GTX. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're referring to the drop solo, says JTH. I think that's correct. I think that's a it is a single coil version of the drop, isn't it? I think I have not a clue. I, I I just said I was gonna say something there. I said yes, I'll review it. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool because it's got different type uh, top caps and all that sort of good stuff. So I think it looks pretty pretty interesting. Um uh, what atty is that, that you just held up? This is the soulmate from VXV, I believe. I believe that's the name of the company. Yes, VXV, the soulmate from VXV. That's that puppy. So there we go. 
So uh, <laughs> what, what's, what's next in your review queue then? Uh, well, I need to finish off this D-Pro Mini. Like I said earlier on, I, I, I recorded a bunch of the, the B-Roll stuff and I've got this. I'm not, I've done another one of those things where I put a bunch of energy into doing like what will evidently end up to be like 10 seconds or something. But uh, but um, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be happening next. And I think I will probably do a show and tell or a nice video for the uh for the for the uh, Vicious Ant twenty one seven hundred, I'm not going to do a full review because it's basically the same as the eighteen six fifty. But I think people should probably see. It. I've really enjoyed using it. The only problem that I have with this on occasions is the fire button can be a little bit hard. You have to press it hard, and because it's a domed kind of thing going on the outside, it, it can kind of. It's like those BB style buttons. Do you know what I mean? Can I, can I ask a question? <laughs> Go on then. What's B roll? B-roll. B-roll is back in the day of, of, of films being made on big rolls of videotape. You have A-roll, which is your primary stuff. And then you have B-roll, which is your background linking and extra stuff. And so B-roll is my linking kind of background videos or bits of bits of uh, bits of video that I can then talk about and do a voiceover over the front of or use for intros. Thank you. Thank you. I just I just. Obviously, I knew that. I just thought it would be educational for your viewers. <laughs> <laughs> um, Vapor Biker, do you have the stainless version of the not another dripping atomizer to hand to show? No, I do not. I've, I've, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a pile of gear here on the floor next to me, a pile of gear over here. And uh, no, I, I haven't, I'm afraid. So no, we'll, we'll see it more soon. But uh, there we go. It, I mean, it does look, it, it is quite a busy looking thing. But I, like I said to the patrons earlier on that, you know, it's it's quite sort of busy and lots going on. But then again, like with Mr. Fagan, he's quite busy and there's lots going on. So it kind of, I think it probably represents him quite well. But uh, there we go. Uh, will you or Todd do a review on the new Sharon mod from Smoant? I certainly will not be. Uh, what about you? No, no, not happening. There we go. Boom. Um, you're going to review Mike Vape's new intake RTA. I have no idea. I have no idea. Generally, I don't review RTAs, as you guys all know. Um, but occasionally, especially if something's a little bit different, I will kind of throw a review in just to mix things up now and then. Um, I don't even know who's producing it, to be honest with you. Do you? <laughs> I have, no, I have no idea. Sorry. I just saw a comment. Um, World of Wonder. Yeah, I saw that. That I, I think that should stay. I think that's just brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh dear. <laughs> uh, am I bringing out a Bassium RDA? No, no, I'm not. No, I've so, always said that the only reason I do an RDA is is if um, it was uh, if it was something that I could do differently to what's already out there, and I can't. I can't at the moment think of any way of doing an RDA differently to what's available currently so no plans to uh, to do an rda or tank or anything along those lines so yet comrade there we go boom uh oh. you guys had vandy's capstone yet no i haven't yeah uh, it's, it's og vape that are doing the intake with make vapes okay no 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 all great i think all great have done some good stuff and then they've done some stuff that's really not great as well so um was that an all babe thing i have no idea <laughs> um, no 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 even that he's gone oh, go on. <laughs> uh do you lads have the vaporesso armor pro kit 100 watt looks an interesting little mod no i haven't got any vaporesso um stuff i haven't had any vaporesso stuff for ages so no not uh it's not on my uh not on my thing because i'm doing fewer reviews because i want to put more energy into the ones that i do do um it's uh i i, I get the i've got the 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 luck i guess of being able to be a little bit more choosy about what i uh what i review and what i don't review so there you go i think the revenger the revenger was the the last one that we both did yeah yeah, right. and I don't even know if I did the did I do the review on that in the end? I don't know. I didn't. No, like I don't it. think you did. No, I didn't like it at all. I don't. I no, not a fan. Um, but there you go. 
Good. Right. I think we've covered a lot of stuff. We've been going for an hour and 40 minutes. So yeah. uh, it's been uh, it's been uh, a fairly hefty old vlog. It's gone quickly tonight, though. It has. It's gone very quickly. Uh, and, and I want to go because I want to go and watch Westworld. I might, I might start. The wife said she doesn't want to watch season two of Westworld, so I might start that tonight as well. It's, 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 like I said, I think I said it last week, slow burn, but it's it's really picking up pace. I think this is the the last two. This is yeah. episode nine, I think. So, <laughs> really good, really good. Um, <laughs> uh, right. right, good one. I think we're uh, I think we're done. Unless anyone's got anything desperate they need asking immediately, then uh, I think we can uh, I think we can bugger off and uh, and chill out. Uh, when you're looking at doing a review on the basic, asks Phil Walton to you, Mister T. Um, um, within the next week. Within the next, within the next five, seven days, definitely. Bonus. There we go. Alistair Patterson is asking me, have I got any plans to review the THC Taurian RDA and Mech? Um, I haven't got one, but because of the price, I did think about going out and buying one. Um, but I know that I've got, I've got at least three more products coming in, and I think two of those are going to be mechs. So um, that's what I know is coming in for the time being. So I don't think. I'm going to go out and buy one for the time being. I know Nick's got one, and so I'd uh, go and check out what, what Nick says about his. Uh, but there we go. Not Chandler, good chat, fellas. You all have a good one. All righty, you too. Is your Brenner still in Westworld? No, no, he, <laughs> he, would, he would look quite skeletal if he is. Um, right, I think that's us done. So are we going to, are we going to, let's let's do the sign out. Do, do you, uh, talk, do a Nick Salt vid um no plans to rick on account of i know nothing about them but if i figure out something then then i might do but uh let me get let me get the bassium stuff out of the way then i can get back to my normal review sort of schedule and then i can uh, then i can worry about doing other stuff as well and hopefully we'll get there but uh no there we go i think we're good and gravy so mr mark i'm gonna put the camera on you oh no uh, no no oh, you've, you've not done the the whole patreon and buy raffle tickets and merch and shit yet Right. Okay, then. As Todd's mentioned it, thank you very much for watching. If you uh, do want to support the channel, you can do go and check out my Patreon links. They're down below in the description. If you want to support us monthly, we've also got, or I've, I'm talking about myself in a multiple. Um, I've also got a um, uh, 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 the, the PayPal thing if you want to do a one-off donation. Failing that, vapingbiker.co.uk has a bunch of fun articles on it. Go and check that out, as well as the merch store if you do want to get T-shirts, mugs, hats, bags, stuff. Just stuff. There's a bunch of stuff on there. Go and check it out at vapingbiker.co.uk. But uh, that's that's about it. I think I think we're uh, we are good to go. So, uh, Mr. T, I'm going to put the camera. The camera is on you. Just dry hit. <laughs> <laughs> right. In that case, I'm going to finish them off. Finish them off. Ooh, I'm you, ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh, here we go. Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching us. We'll see you next time. Make sure you all go out and have a fantastic week. Enjoy the summer if you've still got some, and enjoy the sunshine. Give it some proper beans and enjoy <laughs> the time. But we'll see you again next week. Um, now then, ha, where, where are you done? Where are you gone? Where you, I'm, I'm being ready. nice. I'm being nice to people. Are you ready this time? Don't, don't, I you know. That, that was, <coughs> kill me. You went too early. <laughs> a little bit of pre come go back. Right. right. We done. You've gone early again. We, right. Just, just, I'll tell you what, just use the B roll. <laughs> right, here we go then. Thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you all next time. Have it large. <laughs> oh,